Welcome back. Energy has long been a big industry in Southeast Louisiana, especially in the Gulf of Mexico. But as many companies transition to green energy, traditional oil and gas production jobs in the Gulf could be at risk. But a coalition of companies right here in our part of the state is working to not only prevent that from happening, but add more jobs as well. WDSU reporter Eli Brand takes a closer look at how soon we could see it in forecasting our future. It's so interesting because I think people hear clean energy and they think it's an either or, and it's not. It's a both and that's the value proposition and that's the unique advantage that we have here in South Louisiana. A unique advantage Lacey McManus and the people at GNO Inc. are working to capitalize on right here at home. They're spearheading multiple initiatives called the GNO Wind Alliance and H to the Future that would bring wind and clean hydrogen energy projects to the Gulf to supplement traditional energy and keep jobs. And when we look at global trends and we look at where our big energy companies, um, including our traditional oil and gas companies, um, where they're headed and what they're looking for, they're looking for cleaner and greener energy sources. They're looking for that connection. So the opportunity to offer that right now today when we know that they're going to be demanding it tomorrow um, is something that if we want to be proactive here in South Louisiana, uh, we need to take hold of and really be considerate about. The goal of the project is to place wind turbines in the Gulf along with other infrastructure both there and inland to meet future green energy demand. They say that will also create jobs for people currently in traditional energy without killing any of those jobs. In fact, they've partnered with multiple oil and gas providers on this project and will use their place in our region to their advantage. When we look at our labor base, for example, we have a labor base that's been servicing offshore oil and gas platforms for generations. There's an opportunity to take that same labor base and figure out, okay, how do we then transition that to wind and just add on additional business for those same companies that have been servicing offshore oil and gas for generations. But not all of that infrastructure is just going to be out in the Gulf. Some of it's going to be right here on the campus of the University of New Orleans. The fifth floor of the Advanced Technology Center here at the beach at UNO will house a nexus that will allow space for companies, faculty, students, and others to brainstorm ideas on how to capitalize on projects for our region, as well as help faculty and staff spearhead projects as part of the initiative. I picture, you know, the companies who are looking at, you know, turning this offshore wind into a uh, opportunity to build a new new generation of fuels uh, to power industry, to power certainly our communities. Uh, it's really a, a, a game changing opportunity. Shafin Khan is the VP of External Affairs and Innovation here at the beach. She says being part of this is something the university could not pass up. We see the opportunity. We see the growth here. Uh, certainly offshore wind is a really nascent industry here in the U.S. There's one a wind farm in uh, the entire federal waters in the U.S. right now with a couple of new leases that have been given out in the Northeast as well as over in California. So, but this is projected to become a $25 billion industry by 2030. In fact, that wind farm is a great example of how Southeast Louisiana can spearhead these projects. Eight Louisiana companies helped to plan and build it, including multiple UNO grads. UNO is also an example of how this could provide jobs for future generations, a big part of the project will create programs in places of higher education to train younger people how to be a part of the green energy workforce. We know that the companies that will be coming in and the companies that will be staying and evolving are going to need certain assets across South Louisiana and we're going to need to bring those assets to the table if we're going to have a holistic benefit. The project already has a jump start with 50 million dollars from the federal government and 25 million from the state of Louisiana already approved for the project. The expectation is that the first lease for turbines in the Gulf will be approved this summer with significant infrastructure expected to be built within the next 10 years. Reporting, I'm Eli Brandt, WDSU News. Eli, thank you. Very interesting story. And Louisiana is partnering with the states of Arkansas and Oklahoma to make a joint bid for billions of dollars in federal government grants to help green energy projects. For more, more stories like this, you can go to our website and check out our Forecasting Our Future section.